We use a fair bit of firewood in our home to heat our hot water and our radiators. As you can see behind me, I've got a whole load of um, wood to chop and stack. And behind me, you can see wood piles everywhere of all of the various different shapes and sizes of wood. And we process this in a variety of different ways. We either chainsaw it up, um, we either split it with my wood splitter, or we put it through the wood chomper, which is a, a remit machine from Poland and I think it's model R120. Anyway, we're gonna get all those machines out and I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it. So what I'll show you is I'll get the um, wood chomping machine working uh, in a second. We'll also get the chainsaws out and we'll also get our log splitter as well. It's quite fun doing um, processing wood. At the end of the day, you can see something quite productive that you've done and uh, it also gives you really valuable hot water and uh, heating. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, fire everything up and um, put a few branches through for you. Well, that was fun. Anyway, we've come up with uh, a nice load of um, wood chopped up into our stillage here. Um, I'm never quite sure exactly what the maximum width of branch I can put through. I did have a test one somewhere, which was about three inches wide, 75, 80 millimeters uh, in diameter, something like that. Um, I tend to uh, put stuff a little bit smaller than that. Um, if you put stuff that's too big through, uh, it breaks the shear pin on the PTO. And even though it's relatively simple to um, Put a new one in as it were it's just another hassle factor so i'll try and, and do wood that's not too too thick but you know something like that or so um and they're about 15 centimeters 10 10 to 15 centimeters long which for us is ideal for our small log burners and our um uh, rayburn uh, stove in the kitchen so um anyway that's one stillage done that didn't take us very long i've got another little stillage over there uh, I've probably got a, an empty stillage over there somewhere and uh, we'll just carry on going. Once we've done the, the smallish stuff, um, then we'll get the chainsaw out, chop up the other wood and the really big stuff, we'll get the log splitter and do that as well. So um, yeah, I've got some uh, fun games to do now. Well, like a complete idiot, I have broken the split pin. PTOs are clever little devices. Um, they're universal couplings essentially, um, so that you can apply um, drive to a machine from any sort of angle and uh, they're rather clever. Anyway, on this particular PTO, there's three different um, split pin um, sizes that you can have. You can see there. And so what we want is the biggest one, which is over there. So we line those two, whoops, you can see that. We line those two up there. Try and do this with one hand, of course. And we're gonna put our split pin through, like so. And then I always use a nylock nut so they don't come undone. And that is about as complicated as it gets for changing a split pin. And that's it, all done. We find when we're chainsawing, it's much easier to have it on some kind of um, horse type thing like this. And then you can literally just chop um, the wood with the chainsaw and get nice logs, uh, you know, log sizes from it. That's probably the easiest thing to do, that's what we do anyway. Then um, I think what Sonny's gonna do with this lot is just have it overhanging the trailer and I'll just chop it off. Um, on the uh, on the trailer and that's uh, probably about it this side of stuff here uh, is good for splitting so we'll get the log splitter out as well and uh, we'll split some of this wood anyway um i can't do this one handed as it were uh, so i'm gonna have to do it from the camera on the drone <laughs>
For the larger logs, like these ones, they're too big to put on the fire itself. So um, what we need to do is we need to split them either into halves or quarters or, or more. And uh, we do that using this machine here, which is our uh, log splitter. Now, I actually made this one in the workshop here, but the, the real sort of guts of it, which is the, the ram here, the pump and the valve, um, come as a kit from a company called Flowfit. Uh, they're based in the UK, but I dare say they do ship all around the world. Um, they're, they're, they're good. This is, I think is a 22 ton ram and uh, it's very simple in operation. You just push the stick forward and the ram goes forward, push it back and it goes back. And there's an automatic kick off on the valve as well. So um, that's all good. Uh, oil tank, filter, quite a simple machine really, but it's really effective. And uh, it just takes uh, any kind of load or work out of uh, doing it by hand or with an ax or something like that. So um, you can chop all day long with this machine and it's brilliant. Uh, so best thing is to show you it in action and um, you can see what a good job it does. that's probably about it for this video if you like what you saw and want to get updates on everything else that we do around our small holding press the subscribe button and you'll get updates and uh yeah there's uh, my gorgeous wife sonia <laughs> oh dear <laughs> photo bombed hi um God, start that again <laughs> that's it for this video if you like the um what you saw and i'll oh, start again subscribe button and you'll get a not blah, blah, notification oh god one of the machines which we blah 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 blah. <laughs>